Okay, in, um, first of all, obviously, it wasn't the greatest of uh, results up at all. Performance is about the same up at Northampton. What's been said about that? Uh, obviously, it was difficult night conditions wise, but I think maybe, you know, as a team, we we're, were slightly off the intensity we needed to be. You know, we lost um, some of the battles out there. We lost, lost it maybe in the scrum, in the mall. Maybe a little bit attacking wise as well. We weren't as accurate as we could have been, or we didn't carry as hard as we could have. You know, so there's definitely a couple of things. You know, it's probably an attitude thing more than anything else. You know, skill level obviously was a difficult night, but attitude wise maybe we were a bit off. Because I mean, that, those sort of performances have been few and far between. Last season, maybe you had a few more of them, but it do largely seem to have been eliminated from the game. Yeah, we're usually quite good at resetting, or we've got better at resetting ourselves between matches. You know, and making sure we're, we're at that right level for. Um, for, for, the, for, for the weekend games, but yeah, you know, just sometimes maybe I don't know. It's hard to explain. You don't know your, as yourself as a player or as a team why why it happens. Sometimes you just have these these nights where it doesn't go your way. But it's important, you know, we're learning lessons from it, you know, and, and make sure that you training week and uh, and leading into the game we get that right so that we are ready to go on Saturdays. Do you think that's the key? Because I mean, last this time last season, I think you threw in three or four quite. Poof. Poor results anyway, and it cost you at the end, didn't it? Yeah, well, I don't know if there's any uh, point in thinking about that. You know, the past, the past. You just have to take each game as it comes, especially in a year like this, when there's a game every week. You know, you, you don't you don't get a break in the season to think about it. So you've just got to keep going, keep just thinking about the next people you're playing, and, and not really worrying what's gone behind you. You just have to make sure you're you're ready to go on the weekend and to give 100%. Uh, Gloucester this weekend, uh, almost a local derby, I suppose. Should be a cracking atmosphere. Yeah, it's great. Gloucester and Bath are probably, you know, best atmosphere crowd-wise. So you look forward to that, and I'm sure, you know, Gloucester are going well themselves. I'm sure it'll be a good hard game on the weekend. And what about you, Ian? Happy with your own form? Because I mean, the, the intensity, the competition for places just gets hotter and hotter here, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, no, it's it, it's good this year, you know. And it, it, I always think competition is a good thing because it makes you a better player because you have to to, to to get better to stay in the team and uh, you know keeps you on your toes that way. I think you know all of us. At some point in the year, I've been in and, and playing well, so that that makes it difficult. Unfortunately, obviously, Henry's been unlucky, you know, uh, and Hilly's Hilly's out as well. So, you know, uh, you know, it'll be interesting when those guys get back. But obviously, all you can do is when you've got the shirt, is get out there in the weekend, give your best for the team and uh, and for yourself, and 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 see how well you can do. Thank you. In terms of Gloucester, though, they were the last side to win here almost a year ago in, in the league, and you've made this place a real fortress here. Yeah, yeah, we've done well here, you know, but it's important we don't take that for granted. Um, I think obviously you, you don't want to get comfortable at home and think, oh, you know, we're at Sandy Park, you know, we're, we're going to win. That's, that's not how you look at it. It's Gloucester are a very dangerous side, they're well capable of beating us if we don't play at our best. So, um, yes, it's, it's great to have that record, but at the same time, you know, in the back of your mind, if you don't pitch up, you'll lose it. And you look at the games over the years with Gloucester, one point, well, one score games in a lot, a lot of the games. Yeah, no, they're they're a good side. Like I said, backline wise, they're they've good threat out wide. Uh, they've good players across their team. So, uh, and like I said, I think they've been playing well at the moment. They're, they're scoring lots of tries, so it'll, it'll be a real challenge for us. Um, and uh, and hopefully one will have to be ready for. I know you've spoken in the past, but the buzz you get from playing here, especially when it's a full house, it was like that on Boxing Day, and it'd be similar again at the weekend. Yeah, Boxing Day was great. Good to get a win over Christmas as well. I haven't done that in the few years I've been here, so that was nice as well. But uh, yeah, you, you want hopefully a big crowd again. You, you want to, you want to put on a good show for them and, and get the right result. Just going back to the game last week, I guess again it shows how far the club had come that you've lost played that badly and, and still picked up a bonus point. Yeah, no, I think uh, it, it was, it's good from that perspective, but you know, at the same time, we're probably be disappointed with it because opportunity um, gone. yeah, opportunity gone. You want to keep the pressure on the top of the table by winning as many games as you can. So from that perspective, I think probably we're a wee bit disappointed more than anything else. But yes, bonus point means it's not a disaster. It would have probably been a disaster if we hadn't got the bonus point because, well, whether we deserved it or not is another thing. But at least we got it. Like you know. What I mean?